Hey, fish heads, Jen Crevasi, Jekyll Bates. This is your shop update for the week. I have got a whole bunch of stuff to show you this morning. We're getting ready to go to ICAST in a couple of days. So probably going to see this when I get back from ICAST because I'm just not going to have the time to edit it. My apologies for that. But this is what I've got for you guys this morning. A lot of stuff coming off the clear coat rack. A lot of stuff is still on the clear coat rack. I've been doing a lot of pieces to try and beef the shop back up. Um, storefront here at Bullshad is hopefully going to reopen somewhere around mid-August, maybe the end of August. We're trying to get a full replenishment because, as I've said before in other videos, the Bassmaster Classic wiped us out, which is a good problem to have. But as far as the painter's baits, we've got lots of baits out to other painters. I've been doing a ton of them. And this is some of the stuff that you're going to be seeing for the fall lineup here at Bullshed Swim Baits in Ackworth, Georgia. Very, very cool that we have a storefront now. Very excited about it for you guys. And just a couple of pieces. Um, I'm going to start with some non-Bullshad baits just because I still do, and you guys still like to see some of this stuff in wake bait form. I'm playing around with a couple of different ideas that are probably going to go on the website for the fall lineup and into next year. And again, I just have not had the time to play around with patterns and do some things, but a couple of designs are going to be going to iCast with me. So I'm excited about that. This is just a really cool Brian Best over at um, Anarchy Model stencils and his scale pattern. This is actually a snakeskin pattern, but you can find him on Facebook, and I don't think he's on Instagram yet. Also a yellow perch. This is on that one knocker. It's got a great sound, great swim, and again, they're just off the clear coat rack, so I have not dressed them. And you really, one of the things that I always insist on is making sure the cleanest bait possible is turned over to the client customer as possible. So make sure that all your eyelets are clean and epoxy or clear coat free, depending on what you use. This is KBS. And then we've got a couple of rats. And these are jets and eyes on this rat, so it looks like that pupil is moving. You can see that blue in the camera. I'm hoping you guys can pick that up. I can see it in my monitor. This is the bloody. And if you guys are noticing what tail I'm using, I'm using a couple of different ones. I only use floating, floating tails, but because my buddy Pete over at Reckless Rodents is getting ready to go full tilt boogie with his new house and shop, um... I wanted to feature his tail on here. He does a seven inch floating tapered tail, which is fantastic. I love using it, love giving him a shout out. So if you guys know Pete here on Instagram or on Facebook or on YouTube, he is Wicked Pete Dog on YouTube. He is Reckless Rodents everywhere else. Pete Carter, great tails, great visibility in stained water. And I love him on these little rancid rats. And uh, that's my wake rat. Same thing. It's got that real hard lip on it. Fantastic in the water. Great swimmers. I've got them in a couple of different colors for you guys. The traditional golden brown. And I'm doing these a lot more metallic as we go. Every once in a while I'll do some bloody. These are Jets and Eyes again on most of these. The red edition. And then on this, you can see that this is a Daddy Joe's. So shout out to Kelly Barefoot. Also a phenomenal floater worm, one of the originals. Love giving him love as well. I'm gonna be seeing him in a few days, so stoked about that. We don't get to hang out very much and he has become a, a good friend and mentor, him and his wife. They are fantastic and they are fly fish heads, so. Hopefully he'll be able to join us. I know he's got some packaging issues with his zero gravity jig, but looking forward to seeing him at iCast. That'll be a, a whole lot of fun. And this green that looks like something you may have seen before. It's a very, very interesting color of green. On to, these are going out the door. I'm going to try and get these out before we get to iCast. Maybe do one more coat on them. These are for Jenna Hicks. 
and you can see that shimmer. What makes that shimmer, you ask? Well, a couple of different things. I use iridescent or flip-flop paint on these, and there are several brands out there. Among them, Createx, Wicked, and Golden. Even down to the tail. And I just did black eyes on this crappie series. Super excited about it. My hands are dirty. Imagine that. Love. Yeah, I know. My hands are shaking today. I don't know why. I've had tons of coffee. Maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, absolutely love the shimmer on these. So, Jenna, I hope you like these. Heading your way shortly. Into the glides. These are the Shad Glide from Bull Shad, the traditional 8-inch. And I always try to come up with different things that people haven't done. You know I love my Russ Allen stencils. I'm going to be needing some more of him because I have worn the stencil out. It is one that he has done for me. I don't think it's exclusive. You can probably ask him for it. But this is that beautiful mirror carp stencil. So just wanted to do a fire carp, something really high vis for stained water, and a real sexy table rock pattern. Very excited about these. And the traditional fire tiger pattern. And it's not a tiger pattern. I say fire carp on this one, but the traditional fire pattern is a green fade to yellow, fade to orange on the belly. So trying to do some high vis baits for you guys because you have been asking for them. So we're trying to bring out a couple of different things this fall. But not all that we're doing for sure, but um, definitely not going to be giving away the ghost because we're going to be taking some unreal stuff to the gathering this year. So I'm very excited about that as well. Here's some more of that shimmer on the crappie pattern. And then we've got another Table Rock series. Sorry about that. It, it's rare that I'm alone here at Bullshad, so I try and squeeze the, uh, the videos in every chance I can. And when I think I'm gonna be, um, have the best odds for getting some quiet time, but that's few and far between because this shop is buzzing and humming, getting ready for the fall lineups on the soft tails as well. Really wanted to, I think this is gonna translate into a just crazy fluorescent tail on these. So I have asked Mike if he would uh, make me some fluorescent soft tails on these. Super stoked about this and all the, the crappie that I'm doing. Same similar principle to Jenna's Hot Pinks with that flash iridescence. And now, this, now you see it, now you don't type deal. On a breeder, that beautiful Kelly Green fading into a chartreuse on the belly, a little bit darker than chartreuse. And then your northeastern strain, the goldens, these golden crappie are beautiful. So just a couple of different things. Um, there's a lot of guys that are traditionalists as far as shad bodies should stay with shad type patterns. And I do agree with that, but crappie, although we don't have the, the fat body here, you do have a lot of larger crappie that go eight, nine, ten inches. And then you'll notice on this one the tail is on, but normally the tail is the last to go on. So just a little pro tip, get all your dice, roll them, paint them, <laughs> clear coat them, and then put the tail on just turns over a much cleaner bait. So that is all the news that's fit to print. I'm going to have a full recap when we get back from ICAST, and I'm supposed to be doing some barramundi fishing. There's one place in the entire United States that you can go barramundi fishing, and that is about an hour south of Orlando, Florida. So we're going to be in Orlando for ICAST, and then 
we should be able to spend like three or four hours, I think, is, uh, is our Barramundi Fish the Pit trip. And I cannot wait. Hopefully we'll do well. Um, I'm going to try and try and try to catch one on the fly. Uh, I only have a five weight, so uh, these fish get pretty big. I don't know how that's going to go. But you guys have a fantastic day. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. So on this natural hinkle, my client asked for a natural shad, and there are some beautiful shad out there. I do mine just a little bit differently because, especially on a hinkle, the scales do the talking for themselves. They're laid in there beautifully when the bait's made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down that greenish gold natural fade. Gill plates have got that iridescence that you would normally see in a shad. I've got a pronounced lateral line. And you are going to see that iridescence and, and flash on the top and also in your shad dot. Just a little hint of blue in there. So I try and keep it as clean as possible. And you've got that pinkish iridescence on the belly. Just a very simple, clean, you can see that flash there. That's one thing that I've picked up from TK Stanley, who does probably some of the cleanest baits in the business, is that you always want to hand over the best pattern that they want and keep it extremely clean. And in my shad, it's not like everybody else's shad. I know there's some really cool tricked out shad out there. I just, the simpler the better because I want it to look like a fish. I want it to have that iridescence in it. And that is what I try to achieve every time I do a shad pattern. He also asked for a bone mirror carp. And again, I'm not even certain I'm going to air this. We're getting ready to head down to, um, to iCast in a few days. So I may or may not incorporate this into a video. But again, I've got that iridescence in the cheeks. That depth underneath and your pattern in up into the back so I hope you like these I'll try and get them on a video for you more than likely when we get back from iCast for not all too wiped out but I definitely need to get a video in there so Gary hope you like these cheers Happy casting.